In this video, let's take a look at the solution for merge sort. Let's start with the first part, which is only concerned with dividing the array till the subarray length is 1. Back here in replit in index.js, let's begin by defining the function signature. Function merge sort, parentheses, curly braces, and the function will have one parameter, arr, which represents the array to sort. For example, if we have an array and we pass that array into the merge sort function and then log the array to the console, we should see the elements sorted in ascending order. Now we know we need to divide the array till its length is one. That will be our base case for recursion. If array.length is less than two, return array. Next, let's go back to dividing the array. We divide right at the middle. Let's calculate that first. Const mid is equal to math.floor array.length divided by 2. Now, we consider all elements from the first element up to but not including the middle element as the left array. So const left array is equal to array.slice 0 comma mid. The rest of the array would be the right array. Const right array is equal to array dot slice mid. And this would be till the end of the array. The left and the right arrays may still contain more than one element. So we have to repeat these steps for both the arrays. So we call merge sort left array, merge sort, right array. Bear with me while I complete this line. Return, merge, passing in, merge sort of left array and merge sort of right array. So what we are doing here is dividing the array till they contain only one element. And when that does happen, we pass those arrays into a merge function, which will be part two of the algorithm. In the previous video, we have understood in detail how the merge works. So let's write the code. Function merge, and this will receive the left and right arrays as parameters. Within the function body, we create a temporary array to hold the sorted elements. Let's call it sorted array. Next, we check that both arrays are not empty. So while left array dot length is positive and right array dot length is positive, as long as this condition is true, we compare the first element in the two arrays and push the smaller element onto the sorted array. Left array of zero is less than or equal to right array of zero. We push onto the sorted array, the left array element. We use shift since the element should also be removed from the left array. However, if the right array element is smaller, so else sorted array dot push right array dot shift. Keep in mind the shift method removes the element from the corresponding array. Now, if one of the arrays is empty, we exit the loop. We then merge the sorted array with whatever array still contains the elements. We will use the spread operator for that purpose. 
So with the sorted array, so spread sorted array, if the left array still has elements, merge them. If the right array still has elements, merge them. The order is important to ensure the resulting array is sorted. Finally, return the resulting array, which would be sorted. This is the merge sort algorithm in JavaScript. Let's verify by running the code. We see the sorted array. Our code works as expected. What I would like you to do is take a pen and paper and trace the function execution for a different array. Perhaps once for a sorted array and once for a reverse sorted array where the elements are in descending order. That will really help you understand merge sort algorithm. All right, next it's time to determine the big O of our merge sort function. Now there are two parts to this. We recursively divide the problem into halves. And this, if you remember, is log n time complexity. Second part, we merge the arrays and this contains a while loop. If there is a loop, the time complexity is linear. Our solution is a combination of the two. The resulting time complexity is O of n log n. So big O is equal to O of n log n. And this is one of the best time complexities you can get when sorting. All right, that is about merge sort. Thank you for watching. Please do make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.